that the red tide, which of course is Republican rather than Labour as we see it here in the UK, doesn't seem to have actually emerged across the states. They were expecting a red wave and they got a little tiny puddle. And I think the top line is very bad night for Donald Trump. You know, the, a lot of these were Trump candidates. A lot of them. Remember, Mitch McConnell had said candidate quality when Trump had sort of pushed all of these sort of sketchy candidates. And uh, they sort of had to go along with it because Trump has real control over the Republican Party. It was a bad night for those candidates. Very few of them won. And they won in very red areas. It looks like Oz has lost. It looks like um, a lot of the, the Arizona candidates, it's a little early to call, but certainly Blake Masters is way behind and uh, bad night for Donald Trump. Yeah, and on the other aspect, talking to people who won, Ron DeSantis uh, securing his base in Florida with uh, a big Latino vote, a big female vote as well. That will spell trouble for Donald Trump. Yes, I would say Florida is now really a red state and not a purple state anymore. But it, it, this was a really good night for DeSantis, just because he really is the heir apparent if things don't work out for Trump. And it's hard to look at tonight and not think like this guy is there's going to be a real fight for 24 between DeSantis and Trump. OK, and looking at the overall picture uh, in terms of the, the fight for Congress, um, House of Representatives looks to have, have gone to uh, the Republicans, even though obviously Democrats have held on to perhaps more seats than they were hoping for. But it's this key battle now for the Senate that's really going to decide how things go. Well, I would say just to go back to the House for a minute, it's going to yeah. be very tight for Republicans. Republicans thought they were going to win the House by 20 seats, 30 seats, yeah. 40 seats, as would you would think for a uh, midterm that's a referendum on the party in power. We're not seeing that. We're seeing, you know, a few seats, five seats, six seats, maybe a little more. So that's going to be tough. And there's going to be a real leadership contest, I think, in the House, because remember, McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy from California thinks he is going to be speaker. You could see it, see a Steve Scalise now or someone who is a little less Trumpy coming in and trying to challenge him. Remember, this is the third Republican election where Trump has underperformed. And so I think you're going to see um, I think you're going to see real change in the Republican Party. I mean, I could right. be wrong, but if, uh, but yes, the Senate is very tight. We're probably going to see a runoff in Georgia. I think there's going to be, you know, whoever controls the, the chamber will control by one 